Good evening. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much uh, for your kind invitation to, uh, to me to share with you in the uh, conference on new technology and mental health um, as that will be held uh, in the 19th of, uh, 18th and 19th of March. And uh, thanks for the uh, scientific committee and uh, uh, organizing committee, uh, Professor Manuel Steve and uh, Professor Rana Hassani for inviting me to share with you uh, the uh, history of psychiatry in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, and in this uh, very brief presentation, I'll, I'll try to just give some few highlights about the rich history of uh, uh, psychiatry in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, and I'll, I'll be happy to answer your questions and at the end. Uh, so, talking about uh, mental health uh, uh, history um, uh, in the United Arab Emirates, there are, I'd like firstly to thank Dr. Nahida uh, Niaz uh, Ahmed for uh, sharing with me uh, some of the slides. I get her permission to uh, uh, have some of the uh, slides uh, to be shared with you. And also for uh, uh, Professor uh, Zina Amara, uh, from uh, whom I got many of the photos, and Dr. Jamal uh, uh, Musa, uh, also I got so many photos from him uh, uh, to uh, give you some uh, highlights about the uh, um, history. So talking about the history in, in 1972, um, the Arab Emirates uh, law number 28 issued in 1972 uh, was the first document where uh, for the first time, the term psycho, uh, psychosis was defined. And uh, just a few uh, years uh, later, um, uh, mental health services and the United Arab Emirates officially uh, began in, um, uh, by allocating several beds in uh, Ward uh, 14 uh, of the Central Hospital in Abu Dhabi. Uh, uh, in the 80s, uh, psychological services added in uh, treating patients uh, who acquire psychiatric help at the hospitals. Uh, also, uh, in, in uh, uh, Al Amal Hospital was uh, opened in uh, Dubai in 1981. Also, um, uh, uh, starting uh, some of these uh, psychiatric services uh, in school health um, and during this time, uh, as well, a consultant uh, was appointed um, to work in uh, Fujira Hospital and uh, special, uh, specialist uh, psychiatrist in Ras al Khaimah, uh, 1983. And in 1984, I, uh, I guess uh, Dr. Talat Matar uh, joined uh, in, in Ras al Khaimah. Uh, in um, 1990, um, uh, the establishment of uh, Department of Psychiatry in the United Arab Emirates, uh, with Dr. Omar Rafai uh, as the chair for uh, the department, uh, later on followed by uh, Dr. Abu Saleh, Muhammad Tamuha Abu Saleh, and uh, Dr. Hamdan uh, Musalhi, uh, and uh, also Dr. Osama Tawakkul. Uh, and um, many other colleagues uh, who are uh, now uh, Professor Van Steve as well, uh, heading the Department of, uh, of Psychiatry in the uh, Arab Emirates University. Uh, and uh, I highlight some of the activities in, in, in the coming slides about this. Uh, in 1995, uh, that was one of the uh, uh, turning points in history of psychiatry in the uh, Arab Emirates. Uh, Actually, in 1986, uh, uh, Dr. Zain Amara started uh, efforts to build an, a new psychiatry hospital uh, that finished in 1995. Uh, and that was um, one of the uh, most important points uh, where many of the uh, new units and new subspecialties uh, started in the uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, Dr. Zain Amara, uh, at that time, uh, together with the uh, collaboration with uh, many, uh, United Arab Emirates University uh, for residency program and also for uh, nursing training, uh, starting the child and adolescent uh, psychiatric unit, uh, chemical dependency uh, unit, uh, liaison uh, psychiatry uh, and daycare units. All these were uh, started uh, 
um, in, um, in the, build, the building of the uh, new psychiatric hospital in 1995. In uh, 1998, another turning point, which is very important, uh, was uh, uh, the start of the community mental health uh, uh, service in Lyon. And uh, currently, uh, Dr. Mother Tsukusi is uh, in charge for uh, the department and as well uh, PSI and also uh, the community mental health services in Lyon. Uh, during that year, also, the, the first draft of uh, Mental Health Act was uh, discussed and also uh, psychiatrists um, were um, as a part of uh, uh, integration with the uh, primary uh, mental uh, primary health care services uh, uh, some psychiatrists were appointed to cover some of the um, primary care centers in Abu Dhabi and, and Lyon. Uh, uh, to highlight more um, um, in, in, in 1990 uh, uh, five, we mentioned that uh, a psychiatric, uh, new psychiatric hospital was, was open. Uh, then, in, um, um, as I mentioned, in 1995, uh, the daycare unit uh, was established. But in uh, 2001, um, the uh, psychiatric um, uh, rehabilitation unit um, um, replaced the daycare unit where this psychiatric rehabilitation unit was uh, covering uh, daycare services and some of the community services for um, the uh, patients who are uh, seen by the daycare unit at that time. And also parallel to that, uh, as there was some um, anti-stigma campaign uh, host, uh, covered by uh, the WHO and uh, uh, United Arab Emirates shared by uh, this initiative called Open the Doors. And I was privileged to be in charge for this and stay my campaign in 2001. And in 2002, uh, another very important point was the establishing of the National Rehabilitation Center. Uh, that, um, and, and as I, uh, I mentioned in the coming slides, um, uh, the center has lots of uh, efforts to uh, train. Uh, um, uh, the um, uh, professionals and also to uh, uh, raise awareness uh, against uh, substance abuse uh, in uh, uh, Emirates and in the region and internationally. Uh, in 2005, um, the home care services for uh, or the case management, uh, community case management team, uh, team in Abu Dhabi was launched as a segregated uh, service. Um, so we have at that time daycare unit and a community uh, uh, case management team as well. Uh, and 2012, um, um, a very important uh, thing that happened that uh, uh, Emirates um, hosted the Ban, Ban Arab uh, Psychiatric Conference <clears throat> and the, uh, um, the head uh, or the chair of that uh, conference was uh, Dr. Adel Karani, and um, by uh, the constitution of the Arab Federation of Psychiatrists, he became the uh, president of the uh, Arab Federation of Psychiatrists uh, from uh, 2012 to 2014. Uh, in 2015, um, the Psychiatric Rehabilitation Unit uh, of Abu Dhabi awarded the uh, 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 collaboration um, uh, as a collaboration center with the uh, World Association for Psychosocial Rehabilitation uh, as a training uh, and research center. In uh, 2021, the um, United Arab Emirates uh, hosted uh, the World Association for Psychosocial Rehabilitation uh, World Congress. And uh, the story uh, uh, goes on. Um, we have, as um, uh, 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 a very important uh, thing that we need to highlight is uh, Professor Rafi uh, Arbash, uh, one of the first uh, uh, psychiatrists and uh, actually the first female Emirati psychiatrist, and uh, uh, later on was the uh, president of uh, the Gulf uh, uh, University, and also uh, she's the uh, professor of psychiatry. Uh, 
um, if we spoke about the uh, um, new psychiatric hospital uh, of Abu Dhabi, we, we mentioned that Dr. Zain Amara, who had uh, a vision to have a very specialized uh, um, uh, center with all the subspecialists available. Uh, and um, in 2002, uh, it, the center was awarded as the uh, only center in the Gulf that has all the subspecialities, including old age, uh, daycare uh, services, uh, also the uh, community services, liaison psychiatry, uh, forensic psychiatry, child psychiatry, and uh, chemical dependency uh, unit, as well as the inpatient and outpatient uh, services. Uh, and these are some of the photos um, uh, showing the start of the construction of the uh, new psychiatry hospital in 1986 uh, with Dr. Zuhir Hatim and Dr. Yamal uh, Musa and Dr. Mohammed Al-Gaddal. They uh, were standing in front of the uh, old, uh, um, the, um, uh, old uh, hospital uh, uh, and in front of the new uh, built uh, hospital. <clears throat> Here, some of the uh, team. Um, it's uh, this is uh, uh, on the upper left side. Here, uh, uh, Dr. Zain Amaran, Dr. Muhammad Rashwan, Dr. Abid, and uh, Dr. Nadal Amara, and colleagues uh, standing uh, on the uh, uh, old hospital where there are some caravans, and uh, uh, it was not that uh, well built as the new psychiatry hospital shown uh, in. Uh, on the uh, right side uh, with um, uh, Dr. Zain Amara and some of the uh, colleagues. I am one of them here. Uh, that was 1995. And uh, as a goal for the new psychiatry uh, hospital, um, uh, we were uh, always uh, trying to uh, spread the uh, knowledge and awareness. So uh, uh, they started to have the uh, Abu Dhabi uh, bulletin of psychiatry uh, that uh, was there for almost uh, 15 years. And also there were many of the uh, workshops done uh, to uh, raise awareness with other colleagues and other uh, specialities. Uh, during that uh, time, many of the uh, colleagues were uh, uh, we, we uh, to raise awareness. We have lots of visitors. Um, uh, also, um, 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 as seen on the, uh, our left side, uh, the first uh, 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 first um, um, uh, electronic um, medical services uh, or medical program that was started uh, in uh, Abu Dhabi Psychiatry Hospital called Medicom. And in that uh, system, we have uh, the first center registry for psychiatry. And as we see, the undersecretary of uh, uh, Minister of Health was uh, visiting the hospital to check on uh, this uh, system. And Dr. Yaman Musa was uh, in charge for uh, Medicom. Uh, that later on uh, moved uh, to be Meditech, and now we are using CERNA. <clears throat> also, we have Dr. Yaman Abul Azaim and many. And Dr. Saad al Sawi and many of uh, uh, visitors were coming to see the new psychiatry hospital, Dr. Adel Sadi and Dr. Abdul Rahman al Tum, and many of the uh, international visitors coming to the hospital. Also, in, in uh, um, late uh, 90s, uh, we uh, had uh, a plan to uh, have the new psychiatry hospital as a training center for uh, MRC site. And uh, there was frequent visits from uh, Jeremy Bolton and uh, from Christopher Meyer, um, Professor Christopher Meyer, and colleagues uh, to evaluate the uh, eligibility of the new psychiatry hospital to that. And we were about to uh, get the accreditation to uh, be a training center for MRC site. Also here uh, on the uh, left um, uh, lower uh, photo, Dr. Uh, Ahmad um, Mohit, uh, the uh, uh, regional uh, representative of the WHO in Eastern Mediterranean region, uh, visited the hostel uh, as um, support from WHO to the hostel as well. Here are some of the uh, photos, uh, and uh, this is the child psychiatry uh, unit in Sheikh Medical City. 
and here is a daycare unit um, uh, and Sheikh Lif Medical City. And this is a meeting for uh, the anti-stigma campaign. And uh, here um, that was the launch for the uh, uh, psychiatric rehabilitation unit. In 2001, we, we, I was presenting the proposal for the flowchart of the services. Uh, here uh, in 2015, the visit of the uh, president of the uh, World Psychiatric Association uh, for Psychosocial Rehabilitation and uh, the president elect at that time, uh, Professor Morali Thyros and Professor Ricardo Genia, uh, to get uh, the accreditation of. Uh, the uh, World Association for Social Rehabilitation to the uh, Psychiatric Rehabilitation Unit of Sheikh Ali Medical City as a collaboration uh, center for training and research. And here, uh, another photo of uh, dear colleagues, uh, Dr. Ali Karani and Dr. Mohamed Faye, uh, celebrating the uh, 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 award of the uh, Emirates uh, Psychiatric Society that's now known as the uh, Emerset for Mental Health uh, to be affiliated with the uh, World Psychiatric Association. Uh, uh, this is a photo of um, uh, Dr. Adel Karani uh, opening the uh, uh, Pan Arab, towards Pan Arab uh, conference that was uh, held in, in 2012 and uh, with the uh, professors, uh, Dr. Aukasha and um, professors uh, attending uh, that opening ceremony. Uh, uh, if, as you see, we have breakthrough in, in the psychiatric services, uh, um, the uh, uh, Lion Hospital um, had uh, an old building and now they are um, having a new building with uh, so many uh, facilities uh, provided and uh, daycare services as well. Uh, also, uh, Al Amal Hospital. Al Amal Hospital moved from the old uh, building to a new one, uh, which uh, provided so, lots of the uh, uh, specialized services. And here are some of the photo of the activities of the patients uh, uh, in the psychiatric uh, or the daycare uh, unit. In there, uh, we had the pleasure to uh, train many of our colleagues in, in Northern Emirates to open uh, uh, similar units in, in Ras al Khaimah Hospital and also in uh, Al Amal Hospital. Also, uh, Al Amal Hospital had lots of activities uh, with other colleagues, as Dr. Mutalat Matar I mentioned in the beginning, uh, collaborating with Al Amal Hospital to train colleagues. Uh, uh, also, uh, here, uh, another photo for the collaboration between uh, uh, Al Amal Hospital and uh, Sheikh Khalifa Medical City. And uh, there was uh, always mutual visits between us as, um, for uh, exchange of experience. Uh, and also in the uh, Northern Emirates, uh, Dr. Talat Mother and colleagues, Dr. Riyad uh, and Dr. Haysam Shabaik, they did uh, lots of activities I cannot uh, 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 mention all uh, colleagues who are supporting and who are providing uh, great efforts to support the psychiatric services uh, in uh, uh, the United um, Arab Emirates. Uh, this is uh, the um, uh, World Congress of the uh, Asian Federation that, uh, of Psychiatry that was held in 2017, and it was uh, uh, charged by uh, as a uh, chaired by Professor Abdel Javed, who is the uh, uh, present, uh, current president of the World Psychiatric Association, and uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Shinkufu as well. And also, uh, uh, of course, the uh, uh, head of the local uh, organizing committee was uh, Dr. Uh, Sami Aboun, uh, Sami Al Khouri, and uh, um, it was patron, uh, under patronage of uh, His uh, Excellency uh, um, Sheikh uh, Nahyan uh, Al Mubarak. Uh, Uh, also, uh, we had the uh, Abu Dhabi International uh, Mental Health uh, uh, Conference uh, that was um, uh, held uh, in 2021 uh, in collaboration with the uh, 14th World As uh, Congress of the World Association for Psychosocial Rehabilitation. 
um, in, in, in the coming uh, uh, few months, we will have, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the uh, uh, ISAP uh, the, uh, that will be held and covered by uh, the uh, National Arbitration Center. And His uh, Excellency Dr. Hamad Al Ghafri uh, is in charge for uh, that Congress, uh, and uh, uh, that will be held in, in uh, May uh, 2022. Uh, of course, Dr. Ammar Al Banna will um, do a lot of activities, and uh, that was um, uh, uh, honored by um, organizing the IACAPAB, which is International Association for uh, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry and the Life Professions, uh, uh, World Congress that will be held in uh, 5th to 9th of December 2022. Uh, of course, uh, we cannot uh, forget uh, many of our colleagues uh, who uh, shared in this uh, journey and who did a lot to uh, make uh, this um, uh, journey uh, successful. And of course, the uh, uh, colleagues from uh, the uh, uh, younger generation uh, will continue the uh, journey. And uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that all of us, uh, we love uh, United Arab Emirates and because of this uh, love and uh, uh, all the feelings of um, gratitude to what Emers gave, uh, gave to all of us. Uh, we are going to uh, work together to uh, give a better future based on the uh, um, efforts of the, uh, um, our um, uh, professors and uh, uh, pioneers who paved the way to the new, newer generation. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and I, I wish I didn't um, uh, lengthen it more than uh, needed, and uh, the floor is open for any questions. Thank you very much, and have a good night.